dwarf fruit trees you can grow in any yard. The first four trees in this list, beginning with dwarf apple trees, all belong to the large rose family, which also includes ornamental landscape plants, such as flowering quince shrubs, Chanomil speciosa, and Washington hawthorn trees, Critigus phenopyrum. For a semi-dwarf cherry tree, Prunus avium, look for a stella graft that uses a colt rootstock. The tree will reach a mature size of just 10 feet tall. This plant is suitable for zones 5 to 9. The fruit is a dark red color and sweet. You won't get anything edible out of a flowering almond, Prunus glandulosa. They are beautiful ornamentals, but their only value is their floral display in spring. There are distinct species you have to look for if you are seeking to produce a crop. Peach trees are also in the Prunus genus P. persica. Apricots, cherries, peaches, and plums are all known as stone fruits because they have a pit inside their fruits. Also like cherry trees, peach trees are self-fertile. There are a number of dwarf plum trees. If you want to go really small, there are even types of shrubs that bear edible plums. Although we say banana trees in everyday language, scientists actually refer to bananas as herbaceous plants. In fact, they are considered the largest herbaceous flowering plants on Earth. Space-conscious gardeners should not let that worry them, though, there are small banana plants Musa SPP, suited to small yards. Its fruits may not look like the lemons citrus limon, you buy in the supermarket, but the dwarf Meyer lemon tree is one of the best varieties you can grow if you want to produce fruit in a small space. Their lemons are rounder than typical lemons and have some orange color mixed in with the more usual yellow, but they do have the tangy taste that you would expect from a lemon. Oranges originated in China, a fact demonstrated by the botanical name, Citrus ex sinensis, that sinensis is Latin for, pertaining to China. Many people wonder whether the fruit or the color first received the name, orange, the answer is that the fruit did. If you desire sweet, orangey tasting fruit from a dwarf tree, tangerines are a better bet than true oranges. Citrus reticulata zones 9 to 11, is valued for bearing fruits that taste a bit like oranges but are much easier to peel and much less messy to eat. A nice thing about growing tangerine trees in a small space is that their natural height of 10 to 25 feet can be kept at the low end of the range simply through trimming, so there is no need to seek cultivars that are specifically dwarf. They are self-fertile. Ficus carica is self-fertile. You can keep it outdoors all year long in zones 8 through 11, in colder climates, it is easiest to just grow it in a pot and move the container into a sheltered spot for the winter. Surprisingly, considering its association with warm climates, the fig does have a chilling requirement, but it is less than 300 hours of sub 45 F temperatures. The taste of pomegranate seeds is a curious sweet sour mix, but the pomegranate is not just a novelty found in grocery store produce sections, it is a storied fruit. Pomegranate, literally means, seeded apple, from the Latin, a reference to the Romans' observation that its outward appearance was like an apple's, while it bore many seeds inside. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.